right, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Oh, look at that. I got to pick another one. Holy cow. It just dropped. Okay, let's see what we got here. Love is kind and just. When you're in love, a smile is always on your face. You feel good about yourself. And because you are happy, you're always kind. Love is also just. When you make a mistake, you only pay for it once. You only pay once for that mistake. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 83. NASDAQ off 289. S&P's off 46. Gold contract down $5.70, trading at 18.21 an ounce. We have silver down 7 cents, $23.13 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 81 cents. $81.83 a barrel notes and bonds. The 10-year note up six ticks, trading 128.25. The 30-year up 19 at 156.20 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 112 ticks, trading out at one at 94.803. Euro is at 114. The yen's at 114. The British pound's at 137 to one U.S. dollar. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, going to get pretty cool here. Checking this baby out. Okay, so what do we have? You are down $4.80 on the SPY. We have 54 million shares traded. Now, that's really light volume, folks, okay? Uh, we hit the lows with 119 million. We came off those on Tuesday with 74. So I suspect we're going to do 64 into 74. The, the way this is set up, it, it looks to me like you actually can hit the 465. We'll probably do it tomorrow. We'll probably reject lower price. The queues are going to give us more of an indication of where this market wants to go. The queues lead up, the queues lead down, and right now the queues are going right after the highs of the low. Now, I just did it, okay, as, as we we're coming on the air. So, the queues right now are down eight bucks. You get 56 million shares traded. You're going into 91. Now, the way this works, folks, on price and volume, if you don't get the rejection of lower price out here today, which is the 380.64, bottom line, it's going to go right for it tomorrow. That being said, if you're a bull in the marketplace, this is what you actually want. Why? Because what you'll end up getting, more than likely, is that the market will run out of energy. The market's going into a high energy day, meaning last Friday, uh, Monday, rather. And I just can't see the market basically getting another 91 million shares in the queues when today it's going to be about 65. So we'll see where the baby's going to shake out. But that's how that baby is set up. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at gold. Gold's rejected lower price again at 18.11 today. You're trading 1821. Bottom line, this wants higher price in a big way, not in a small way either. This just came down, came against the strength from Tuesday, saying, okay, I want higher price. And if we go over to the good old U.S. dollar, the U.S. dollar says it all. Because, because what we had with the U.S. dollar is this. U.S. dollar broke the consolidation yesterday, broke it in spades. We are at 94.809 in the beginning where the dollar went topside. Okay, so this is where we go. The highs of the lows where we went topside, meaning the day of strength, which was November 10th, is 94.903. Well, we just got into that by 100 ticks. If it stays in it, it's going to go to the bottom of that, which is 91,967. If we get the same kind of movement that we got yesterday on the way down to that level, bottom line, this thing will get all the way down to 90, uh, the next one is 91,4, now 91,947. And that's, that's, a, that's a decent move. And you can see that the correlation is pretty clear. When you take a look at the correlation, we go over to the euro, you're going to see the euro broke, broke top side after, after the consolidation. We go take a look at the... The British pound, British pound has been strong anyway. And the bottom line is that you had follow through inside the British pound. You know, the low on the British pound, uh, bottom line, you know, you go back three weeks ago was 131. You're at 137. This pound is, wants to get up to the 139. And then the yen, the yen is also cooperating with us. The yen is getting stronger. What you have with the yen, the yen's down 56 ticks right now. We are trading at a price point of 114. That is saying that the yen wants to run down into this level of 112.53. Let's go to Earl in Seminole. Hey, Earl, what's going on? Hey, Tommy. How you doing, How you man? Doing? I'm doing great, hey. man. Yourself? Yeah, I want to have you take a look at uh, IEF. 
I E S. Uh, I think it made a nice move today. It's at the bottom from what I see, and uh, I like it long from here. Okay, let's take a look. So the IEF is the 7 to 10 year Treasury bond ETF. Okay, so 113.30. Yeah, I mean, you can you can trade this. This looks to me like you can get 115.39 out of it. It's going to try That's to it's going to try to break back yeah, inside this range. I'm sorry, what'd you say, Earl? I say that's what I'm looking for. It looks like it uh, could go right back up to that area. I, where, where I'm going with this is the lows of the high. You see that bar there on the December 3rd? That's where that baby yeah. can get to. So let, let's go and take a look at this 10-year, because I talked about this at the, at the beginning of the program. So if we take a look at the 10-year, uh, GC, let's get the... What you're going to see is that the 10-year folks, as well as the 30, that had broken, and it's 128.22. Yeah, look at that. So the 10-year just got back inside its range. When that, when that happens, folks, the bottom line is that it's get back inside its higher range, and guess what? It's saying that it wants to go to higher price. Yeah, so this is a good setup, man. The 30-year had already got back inside the higher range. And I know this is bizarre because the, the fact that it matters, we know the Fed's going to go up. But that Fed going up, <laughs> uh, the bond and note market are saying they're not going to go up as fast as market as markets may think. So, yeah, I think you get some action there, Earl. Yeah, I like it as a uh, hedge in case we have a downdraft. Exactly. Now, that's, that, that's a fact. That's a fact, man. Cook it, brother. Thank you. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.